It's my pleasure this morning to be able to introduce to you someone who is an avid supporter of law enforcement. We live in a country right now where that's not exactly a popular thing in some areas. But in Alabama it is, and we are honored to have a governor who in her entire career has done nothing except support law enforcement and stand for the rule of law. If you would, give me a warm welcome to introduce you to our governor, Governor Kay Ives. Well, good morning, everyone. Thank you, Chief Partridge, for your kind introduction and for your years of dedicated service to our great state. I'm proud to join each of you here today as we honor the lives of our fallen law enforcement officers and pledge to never forget the selfless sacrifice that they have made to protect and serve our communities here in Alabama. Over the course of the last few years, as the Chief alluded to, it's been disheartening to see the law enforcement professionals around the country They've been continuously criticized in the mainstream media. What's almost always left out is that an overwhelming majority of our nation's law enforcement officers are heroes whose sole focus is to protect their communities and make the world a better place as a whole. often overlooked that these heroes are mothers and fathers and brothers and sisters that risk their life every day that they put the badge on and go to work. It's a profession that carries endless risk that in turn offers very little in the way of monetary reward. But if you ask somebody who pursued a career in law enforcement why they did it, they'll tell you money was not the issue. Instead, they'll tell you they do this job because it's their God-given calling and that they want to save lives and make their communities safer. It truly takes a special kind of person to commit their life to law enforcement. That our way of life in Alabama and the United States would be in jeopardy without them. In the last two years, Alabama has lost 11 brave, community-minded heroes in the line of duty. Today is about honoring the lives of Sergeant Latoshka Carter of the Birmingham Police Department, Officer Sean Paul Tudor of the Mobile Police Department, Officer William Buckner of the Auburn Police Department, Deputy Julius Jamal J. Daly of the Monroe County Sheriff's Office, Investigator Doral Cassette of the Tuscaloosa Police Department, Sheriff Big John Williams of Lowndes County Sheriff's Department, Agent Billy Fred Clark III of the Huntsville Police Department, Officer Nick O'Rear of the Kimberly Police Department, Sergeant Stephen Williams of the Moody Police Department. Assistant Chief Gail Green of the Phoenix City Police Department. And Sergeant Parnell Guyton of the UAB Police Department. Each of these individuals has personified the definition of a community servant. They dedicated themselves to the idea of service of the self and in the process they made an everlasting difference in our state. I'm forever grateful that they answered the call. And we owe it to them and their loved ones to never forget the ultimate sacrifice that they made and to ensure that they live in our hearts and minds forever. I'm proud to be your governor and I'm proud to say that I will always look out for the best interests of our men and women in blue. Thank you all for being here today. May God continue to bless each of you and the great state of Alabama.